So one thing you may have missed this week during E3 was the new dashboard that's going to be coming to the Xbox One, so I've got a preview for you. Now, they did not show this at the E3 press conference, but they did show it throughout the week. So this is what your dashboard is going to soon look like thanks to Windows 10 and DirectX 12. So you'll notice avatars are back on the left-hand side of the screen. Now, if you go through here on the main page, you've got your latest games that you've played. You'll notice that there's now a section where devs can leave notes to let you know whether or not a game was updated since you last played it. As you go through here, down at the bottom is your new pin section, so that's where that's going to be. Over on the right, moving over, is your community section where you see what your friends are doing. I still think this takes way too much real estate up on the screen. I wish that was a little bit smaller, especially if you've got a lot of friends that are doing a lot of things. On the right-hand side, you've got Trending on Xbox Live, which shows you some of the biggest games being played and also some things happening on your friends list. Moving over to the far left is a quick start menu that's got your friends, you've got uh, notifications, you got messages, and some settings. And one thing that they kept on talking about was just how much faster this is and how it's so much snappier, so things just pop up almost instantaneously. Now, when you're in-game, you can actually double-tap the home button now on the controller, and it brings up this same menu that you previously saw. And so it makes it really easy to just go ahead and send out invites to your friends. And again, they mentioned that this was just a whole lot faster than the previous way of doing everything. But if you don't want to go through menus and all that, you don't want to stop playing your game, the next feature is the one we've been waiting on for a while and talking about is Cortana. Cortana is finally coming to the Xbox One. You can ask her things like, hey, is one of my friends online? And she'll reply with yes or no. And also, if one of your friends is online, you can tell Cortana to go ahead and set up a party and invite your friends to that party. So you do not have to stop playing at all. You can just keep on playing and just talk to Cortana again naturally and let her do all that for you. Another thing that they showed off, like in this uh, instance, they show off being able to tell her to record the last minute of footage and share it to your activity feed. And you can also put in a message. So it does text to speech, or I guess speech to text. Uh, so you can say, check this out is the message you wanna send and she'll go ahead and send that out. Uh, they also showed other features like being able to ask her in game, you know, what's the next quest that I'm going to encounter in this game? And, you know, she can pull up that information. So, all sorts of information that she's going to be able to do for you in game, you are going to need to connect in order to use it. But one more reason that, you know, some people will enjoy having connect. So, that is the Windows 10 dashboard coming soon to Xbox One. That does it for me, the Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.